There's only one thing to do. Drop it. Hey, this is Robotnica Sexy, and I have another bunch of Pokemon Showdown battles for you, so let's get right into it. Uh, I'm going to lead with Choice Specs, uh, Modest, Rotom, and uh, just fire off a Shadow Ball. It does a lot to Absol. I'm going to predict the Sucker Punch go into Neckbeard, the Embor, and I am in a tricky spot. If I go for the wild charge which I wanted to do because the slow king switching was obvious I was afraid he would predict my prediction and go into volt absorb lantern so that's my reasoning for going for superpower but anyway this slow king seems to be max special attack because it did an immense an absurd amount of damage to uh, EV light max special defense Roselia it should not do it should not two shot Roselia just it shouldn't and uh, he is going to show me the nasty plot, which um, doubly confirms that he is max special attack. Uh, which, this is the second time I've ran into a max special attack Slowking, and they are a problem. Um, they hit hella, hella hard. So I'm going to have to burn through two people just to deal with Slowking. So I'm going to have to deal with that. I'm going to have to recover somehow. Um, the switch into Steelix is very clear, very obvious, and my opponent knows this, and he's going to fire off a superpower. Uh, even with uh, without the impish nature and without any defense EVs, I can take one, though, um, because Steelix is base 200 defense, which is absolutely uh, insane. Um, but anyway, um, some stuff is happening. I'm going to Trick Room as my opponent switches into Dust Noir here. Now, it keeps going for Sucker Punch, it's really weird, um, you know, I really would expect to see a Will-O-Wisp by now, but, uh, I guess he isn't running Will-O-Wisp, um, not running Will-O-Wisp on Dust Noir, uh, just kinda hurts you, really, I don't know, Dust Noir just really needs the Wisp in order to really do much, in my opinion, and as you saw there, I'm gonna fire off three Scalds, I'm gonna get a crit, but no burn at all. Which honestly pissed me off uh, when I was having this uh, battle uh, uh, last night or this morning, whichever it was. Uh, and something, something, yeah, he's gonna go for pain split on my sub. This is like the third time someone has tried to go for pain split on a sub in my Pokemon Showdown games. In Are You specifically, people go for pain split on subs. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, but anyway, a uh, really important play is gonna happen here. I am going to um, make a really stupid move and not sub up again, uh, and this is going to give Yuxi a window of opportunity to, uh, um, you know, use Toxic on Buffalon, which is really not great for me because his entire team is pretty much threatened by this Buffalon. Now I have bad poison. I'm badly poisoned, so there is a timer. Uh, and I can't really stick around for long, uh, although, uh, I'm gonna do a smart move, go for the Stone Edge, and, um, actually hit it twice. I did predict him to want to go into Dust Noir to take my, uh, Afro Charge, Head, head Charge, I think it's called? I don't know. Um, and then it actually works out for me. I'm gonna land the Stone Edge twice, which is absurdly lucky. Well, it isn't that lucky. I've, I've landed two Hydro Pumps in a row, uh, many times. It's landing three in a row, that's absurdly lucky, but, you know, still pretty lucky. Um, so, because of my prediction pants, uh, Buffalant is going to be able to score a three-kill streak before going down, and as it goes down, I'm going to get a free switch into Roselia. Roselia versus Lantern, this is the perfect time to set up Toxic Spikes, because Lantern really, really Lantern can't do a single damn thing. Uh, and, yeah, max special defense Eviolite. Super effective hits aren't supposed to do anything. I mean, that's the theme of it, and that's why that Slow King was so powerful uh, before. Uh, but anyway, um, um, Rosalia is actually actually going to go down to a burn, which actually helps me, which is kind of ironic since I failed 
to burn my scald, and then he burns me with the scald, and then in return, it actually helps me out. So, as you see, as you saw there, um, that is going to be an epic comeback with uh, Trick Room, uh, Steelix, and Roselia. And uh, this is going to be a, a next match, a little filler match, um, and yeah. Uh, Pokemon Showdown is going to put me on the, uh, the top right side this time. I had all these matches uh, tonight on my laptop, um, which I don't want to record on because it is uh, kind of a ratty piece of work and uh, it would just lag a lot if I tried to record on it. Um, it, it has Camtasia on it, it just it's not good. I've, I've tried doing it before actually if you remember, but you probably don't. Uh, but anyway, uh, some shit is happening. Um, this is a really cool uh, match I had. Uh, I'm gonna scout for Taunt uh, just to see what kind of um, what kind of light part this is. And switching up back into Marwolf also allows me to scout for Thunder Wave. There are three different. I I really can't believe these words are coming out of my mouth. Lipart has three different common sets in lower tiers, and they are a pain to deal with. You know, Lipart is a pretty shitty Pokemon, but with Prankster and, you know, Swagger, Thunder Wave, Taunt, it's actually pretty good. Uh, but anyway, a, a really interesting series of turns is going to happen. Um, thank goodness he didn't set up any coils, otherwise those series of events wouldn't have happened. And by the way, Gaylord is um, exerting its pressure because it has the Dream World pressure ability, which is like just a joke on top of the stupid lame Gaylord joke, because he's, he's a giant penis, he has water spout, and he's exerting pressure ability. I just wanted to let you know that, because I, I get a chuckle out of that every time, because I'm like six. Um, but anyway, uh, some some more shit is happening. Uh, he's got this dirt fish here, and his his name is I'm an albatross. I don't know if that's an homage to the uh, the, the classic uh, Monty Python's Flying Circus sketch, but if it is, good on you, man. That is a really really cool nickname. Um, I've been outmaneuvered before by Alamamla, but this time is a little weird. You know, his health was so low before, why didn't he protect then? I was predicting the protect, but instead he just left himself wide open and uses Toxic on me. I just found that really weird. Maybe he predicted me to predict him. But anyway, it doesn't work out. I, I want to save Torterra for later, and um, I, yeah, so I switch out and, you know, kill Alamomala with Hex, actually, because Alamomala does not have very good special defense. And uh, he's g my opponent is going to end the match prematurely because Marwolf basically cock blocks everything he wants to do. Um, but this is going to be the closing match. Um, I've been ranting all night. I will try to pay attention to the turn by turn in this time. Um, so yeah, once again, Pokemon Showdown is going to put me on the other side, and he's going to lead off with uh, Porygon Z, and I'm like shit. There's nothing I that on my team that wants to take Porygon Z, so I'm just going to have to let Clay it all go, which is really bad, because um, his team is really Stealth Rock weak. Um, but, you know, I get Quiznos in there. Uh, amazingly, this guy does not have a Chandler on his team, so that means I can uh, Choice Specs um, Overheat whatever I want, and I'm going to do some Volt Switch shenanigans as he sets up some uh, layers of Toxic Spikes. Uh, yeah, Toxic Spikes doesn't hurt me too bad. I mean, it does. It kind of really does, uh, because of... Um, well, I don't know. It's not It's not really that bad, actually, because I have two Levitating Pokemon, a Steel Pokemon, and a Flying Pokemon. So yeah, it's really not that bad. Uh, but anyway, uh, I kind of... This is going to be another epic comeback. I kind of have things stacked against me. Because of the, la the last turn, he is going to be able to get up Stealth Rocks free, no charge, Like, and there's nothing I can do about it. And my team is just as weak to Stealth Rocks as his team is, which seems to be a theme of UU. But, miraculously, Bubba Hotep is going to survive on that 1% and land the Will-O-Wisp, and now for the epic comeback with the boof plop. Um, 
I'm going to get up in agility and go for the hydro pump and land it, which is beautiful. Now Mind Shadow's going to come out. He's just going to try to whittle down my uh, HP with the fake out and pop my air balloon. And now he's going to switch into Bronzong as I go for hydro pump here. Um, I'm going to try to go for hydro pump again, but miss because it has that shaky 80% accuracy. But his earthquakes are only doing 25% to me, so I'm going to opt to go for a couple ice beams instead of using Hydro Pump, and the logic was I just felt like I was going to miss Hydro Pump twice in a row and then Buff Plop was going to die, and I knew that it would be more worthwhile to do a two-hit KO with Ice Beam. So that's going to happen. I'm going to get a wor worthless crit on Honchkrow as he goes for the uh, Sucker Punch to whittle me down more. Mindshell is going to come in, go for the fake out. I live on the 1%. Buff Plup, being a total man, being an awesome mama jama. So his last Pokemon is Mind Shao. Uh, it's finally going to take down Buff Plup, but I have Crobat, and it is adamant nature, but with max speed, it's still faster than Mind Shao. So that's really cool. And those are going to be my Pokemon Showdown matches for today. And if you enjoyed them, please, please feel free leave a like rating and a comment and uh, hey there's going to be the MVP of our underused match in Polion and there is going to be the MVP of our NU match Bastiodon who has been so so useful in my NU matches in the past and I'm sure in the future and then of course there's going to be our RU champion Buffalon the Afro Samurai yeah, that is cool. I actually browsed Tumblr to get some of these pictures, and there was less Pokemon porn than expected, so that's awesome. Um, but yeah, I will see you later, YouTube, and uh, yeah.